Hey y'all, I wanted to share with you my most recent purchase from Porter Road, which is an online meat delivery service. Porter Road is all grass-fed, pasture-raised meat products. They've got beef, lamb, chicken, pork. Um, I found them through a simple internet search. Well, who am I kidding? It probably wasn't very simple. It took me hours. It was an hour, hours of uh, research on pasture-raised meat. Um, coming from Germany, I had the luxury of going weekly to my farmer's market if I needed to and picking up pasture-raised organic beef, chicken, rabbit, lamb. Um, Doug was amazing. So if you're in Kaiserslautern still, um, check out the farmer's market on Saturday mornings in K-Town and uh, Doug's the man to go to. He's amazing, speaks great English. Uh, him and I became really good friends. Probably the best bacon I've ever had it came from him in Germany, which is crazy because bacon is not really a thing there. Uh, at least American style bacon isn't. So anyways, coming to Vegas, there's absolutely no grass here. So that was my first indicator that I need to start looking elsewhere because I know for sure that within this area of Nevada, I'm not gonna be getting pasture raised animals because there's no pastures for them here. So the closest I could find was about five hours north and five hours east of us um, in Utah and northern Nevada. There were a few farms that do pasture-raised beef. Um, a lot of them are CSA, so you have to join their CSA program where you're getting meat delivered every month for a year. You have to pay for it up front, which is fine, but just moving here, I kind of want to sample a little bit of everything and find what my family likes and what our needs are. Um, there is one farm that I will be reaching out to next month in March. I believe they will be coming back from vacation and I'm going to try theirs because the closest to the source, obviously the better. There's no need for transportation, any of the insulation products that are in here. So trying to find a local farmer is your best bet. But like I said, I've been struggling a little bit in the Las Vegas area to find farmers that have the products I'm looking for. So my next best bet was online. There are several online companies that ship nationwide or regional. Um, a lot of them, some of the bigger name brands are trustworthy but expensive. So I did a little more research. Um, Eat Wild is a great resource. You can look there and try to find locally where you can find farmers that are certified in a lot of different requirements. So I stuck with Porter Road, but did a bunch of digging on their website and found that they have a lot of breakfast items that my family and I love. Breakfast sausages, you can get them in links, you can get it ground, um, bacon, chorizo. He's not allowed on here. <laughs> Anyways, so I did all the breakfast stuff on that shipment, hoping that I would find more of everyday dinner items uh, locally, but I haven't yet. So. They had a great sale last week, and I believe this was shipped Monday. It is now Wednesday, and it's already arrived on my doorstep. The estimated uh, delivery was actually tomorrow, by tomorrow night. But with this box and my previous order, they both came a day early. Last time, my tape had, like, stakes all over it, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> so, this is the box. First thing you'll find is your Porter Road inventory. So it's got all the items that I ordered, the quantity and the price. This total was $130 for the entire box with savings of $26 from a coupon code that they had online. So this is their insulation. This is made out of a corn material, the stuff that's inside the plastic and can be completely biodegradable or you can rinse it down your sink with water. I have yet to try it. Maybe I'll do it now so we can see what it does. So I'm gonna test out their cornstarch based insulation product. Um, online it says that you can rinse it down the drain with water. So let's see. Oh shit, it's like magic. <laughs> Just kind of falling apart. Like literally just falls apart in here. So cool. And then of course, packaged in plastic to protect that. Um, and then you will find giant ice blocks, which are still completely frozen. And then the goods. So 
I ordered some ground pork, ground lamb, more ground pork, some short ribs, Korean style short ribs. Inside of this bag is ground chicken. You can do like meatballs and stuff. Another pound of ground chicken. Chicken wings. This is the whole bird that I ordered. A rotisserie style whole chicken. This was $26. And in my opinion, uh, I know you can get these for like 10 bucks already cooked at Walmart, but um, you don't really want to support farmers that are raising chicken in that way. This was a pasture raised bird um, from Tennessee. Jolly Barnyard is the farm it was from. Um, it's just over four pounds. I like to cook these in the crock pot and then it'll be dinner plus lunch for the next day. So for 25 bucks, um, yes, it's more expensive than a factory raised chicken from Walmart, but um, you know you're getting good quality meat and this was a healthy raised bird with a good life. So to me, I can support that $25. You're gonna spend more than that if you go to Chick-fil-A for a family of four, plus you won't have leftovers. So with this, I could go with a bag of potatoes for three bucks, um, add the butter and all the other fixings, and for $30, you've got at least five meals out of this one chicken. So for me, it's a good investment that we like to do like once a month. At the bottom here, a third ice pack, and the entire inside of the box is also insulated with that same corn starch uh, material in here with the plastic. So. Um, all of these items are still completely frozen, even though they've been traveling for almost two days. The ice really helps, and then I leave these in the fridge and I can use them in the summer when we go on picnics or whatever. My family and I typically eat out twice a week. We do pizza Fridays, and then Saturday or Sunday we eat out a second time. So if we're doing five meat items a week, um, this would be enough food for about two and a half weeks, including a couple lunches, not including the breakfast items. So um, about $60 a week we spend on pasture-raised, grass-fed, high-quality meat products. And what goes with it is, uh, is often some type of grain or potato, vegetables, stuff like that, which are relatively inexpensive. And I'm in the process of building my raised garden beds. So um, I'll even have access to that in my own backyard to bring that cost down even more. So yes, you're spending a little bit more than you would on factory raised animals, but if you're going to eat meat, you have a choice, and this is the choice that I stand behind, animals that were humanely raised um, and supporting the farmers that do so. So thank you, Porter Road, for what you do and other farmers and companies like you, making it easier for people like us who want to eat meat, want to, want to eat meat that was raised humanely the way it should be, um, we appreciate what you do. And they seem to be a pretty open company, so if you had any extra questions other than what you can find on their website, I'm sure if you shoot them an email, they'd be happy to answer. And with all meat companies, don't be afraid to ask questions. We'll have to do another whole video next time on how to choose a farmer and what to look, look for so that you're not being scammed by the labeling because natural, organic, grass-fed doesn't mean anything unless you connect with the farmer and really get to know their products and their standards. And here is a look at my freezer from this purchase plus my previous purchase. All of the breakfast items I had mentioned, chorizo, ground pork, got some bratwurst down there for my last order, chicken, yum. And I've got some of their pasture-raised pork in my refrigerator. For dinner tonight, we're gonna do some teriyaki pork.